Melusine is a figure of European folklore, a feminine spirit of fresh waters in sacred springs and rivers. She is usually depicted as a woman who is a serpent or fish from the waist down. She is also sometimes illustrated with wings, two tails, or both. Literary versions The most famous literary version of Melusine Tales, that of Jean Doris, compiled about 1382 Euro 1394, was worked into a collection of spinning yarns as told by ladies at their spinning. Cowardret wrote the Romans of Parteni or of Lusignan, otherwise known as the Tale of Melusine, giving source and historical notes, dates and background of the story. He goes into detail and depth about the relationship of Melusine and Raymond in their initial meeting and the complete story. The tale was translated into German in 1456 by the one quartering von Ringoltingen, the version of which became popular as a trip book. It was later translated into English c. 1500, and often printed in both the 15th century and the 16th century. A prose version is entitled The Chronique de la Princesse. It tells how in the time of the Crusades, Elinas, the king of Albany, went hunting one day and came across a beautiful lady in the forest. She was Prisine, mother of Melusine. He persuaded her to marry him but she agreed, only on the promise a euro for there is often a hard and fatal condition attached to any pairing of fay and mortal a euro that he must not enter her chamber when she birthed or bathed her children. She gave birth to triplets. When he violated this taboo, Prisine left the kingdom, together with her three daughters, and travelled to the lost Isle of Avalon. The three girls a Euro Melusine, Melia, and Palatine a Euro grew up in Avalon. On their fifteenth birthday, Melusine, the eldest, asked why they had been taken to Avalon. Upon hearing of their father's broken promise, Melusine sought revenge. She and her sisters captured Elinas and locked him, with his riches, in a mountain. Prisine became enraged when she learned what the girls had done, and punished them for their disrespect to their father. Melusine was condemned to take the form of a serpent from the waist down every Saturday. In other stories, she takes on the form of a mermaid. Raymond of Poetou came across Melusine in a forest of Coulombias in Poetou in France, and proposed marriage. Just as her mother had done, she laid a condition, that he must never enter her chamber on a Saturday. He broke the promise and saw her in the form of a part woman, part serpent, but she forgave him. When, during a disagreement, he called her a serpent in front of his court, she assumed the form of a dragon, provided him with two magic rings, and flew off, never to return. In The Wandering Unicorn by Manuel Magica Lainez, Melusine tells her tale of several centuries of existence, from her original curse to the time of the Crusades. Legends Melusine legends are especially connected with the northern areas of Gaul, Poetou and the Low Countries. Sir Walter Scott told a Melusine tale in the minstrelsy of the Scottish border confident that, when in 963 AD Count Siegfried of the Ardennes bought the feudal rights to the territory on which he founded his capital city of Luxembourg, his name became connected with the local version of Melusine. In 1997 Luxembourg issued a postage stamp commemorating this Melusina, with essentially the same magic gifts as the ancestress of the Lusignans. This Melusina magically made the castle of Luxembourg on the Bock Rock appear the morning after their wedding. On her terms of marriage, she too required one day of absolute privacy each week. Alas, Sigfrid, as the Luxembourgish call him, could not resist temptation, and on one of the forbidden days he spied on her in her bath and discovered her to be a mermaid. When he let out a surprised cry, Melusina caught sight of him, and her bath immediately sank into the solid rock, carrying her with it. Melusina surfaces briefly every seven years as a beautiful woman or as a serpent, holding a small golden key in her mouth. Whoever takes the key from her will set her free and may claim her as his bride. Martin Luther knew and believed in the story of another version of Melusine, Di Melusina Zulu Selberg, whom he referred to several times as a succubus. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe wrote the tale of Dine Melusine in 1807 and published it as part of Wilhelm Meister's Wonderjar. The playwright Franz Grillparzer brought Goethe's tale to the stage and Felix Mendelssohn provided a concert overture The Fair Melusina, his Opus 32. 
Melusine is one of the pre-Christian water fairies who were sometimes responsible for changelings. The Lady of the Lake, who spirited away the infant Lancelot and raised the child, was such a water nymph. Other European water sprites include Lorelei and the Nixie. Melusina would seem to be an uneasy name for a girl child in these areas of Europe, but airing at Melusine von der Schillenberg, Duchess of Kendal and Munster, mistress of George I of Great Britain, was christened Melusine in 1667. The chronicler Gerald Le Cambrian reported that Richard I of England was fond of telling a tale according to which he was a descendant of a Countess of Anjou who was in fact the fairy Melusine, concluding that his whole family came from the devil and would return to the devil. Related legends, the travels of Sir John Mandeville recounts a legend about Hippocrates' daughter. She was transformed into a hundred-foot-long dragon by the goddess Diane, and is the lady of the manor of an old castle. She emerges three times a year, and will be turned back into a woman if a knight kisses her, making the knight into her consort and ruler of the islands. Various knights try, but flee when they see the hideous dragon. They die soon thereafter. This appears to be an early version of the legend Melusine. References in the arts, Melusine is the subject of Friedrich de la Motte copyright S. Novello Undin, Halle copyright Vis Grand Opera La Magician and Jean Girold's play on Dine. Felix Mendelssohn depicted the character in his overture The Fair Melusina, Opus 32. Marcel Proust's main character compares Gilbert to Melusine in Within a Budding Grove. She is also compared on several occasions to the Duchess de Guermans who was directly descended from the Lusignan dynasty. In the Guermans way, for example, the narrator observes that the Lusignan family was fated to become extinct on the day when the fairy Melusine should disappear. Ma copyright Lusine appears as a minor character in James Branch Cabell's Domnew, a comedy of woman worship and the high place. In Our Lady of the Flowers, Jean Jeanette twice says that Divine, the main character, is descended from a Euro Oeth siren Melusine Euro. Melusine appears to have inspired aspects of the character Ma copyright Lisand, who is associated with springs and waters, in Morris Moore Eatling's play Pella copywriters and Ma copyright Lisand, first produced in 1893. Claude Debussy adapted it as an opera by the same name, produced in 1902. In Wilhelm Meister's Journeyman Years, Goethe retells the Melusine tale in a short story titled The New Melusine. Georg Trakl wrote a poem titled Melusine. The Melusine legend is featured in A.S. Byatt's late 20th century novel Possession. One of the main characters, Christabel Larmotte, writes an epic poem about Melusina. Philip the Good's 1454 Feast of the Pheasant featured as one of the lavish and tremets a mechanical depiction of Melusine as a dragon flying around the castle of Lusignan. Rosemary Hawley Jarman used a reference from Sabine Bering Gould's Curious Myths of the Middle Ages that the House of Luxembourg claimed descent from Melusine in her 1972 novel The King's Grey Mare, making Elizabeth Woodville's family claim descent from the water spirit. This element is repeated in Philippa Gregory's novels The White Queen and The Lady of the Rivers, but with Jaquetta of Luxembourg telling Elizabeth that their descent from Melusine comes through the Dukes of Burgundy. Kurt Heasley of the U.S. band Lilies wrote a song titled Melusina for the 2003 album Precollection. French singer Noël Leroy recorded a song titled Ma Copyright Lusine on her album Histoires Naturals in 2005. The gothic metal band Leaves Eyes released a song and EP titled Melusine in April 2011. The fairy is said to be a recurring metaphor in Breton's Arcanum 17. In Czech and Slovak, the word Melusina refers to wailing wind, usually in the chimney. This is a reference to the wailing Melusine looking for her children. See also, Legend of the White Snake, Morgan, Neck, Partenopius de Blois, Potomides, Yukiona. References, Donald Maddox and Sarah Storm Maddox, Melusine of Lusignan, Foundling Fiction in Late Medieval France. Essays on the Roman de Mar Copyright Lusine of Jean Doris. Otto J. Eckert, Luther and the Reformation, Lecture, 1955. E-Text, Proust, Marcel. Within a Budding Grove. External links, Melusina. Translated legends about mermaids and water sprites that marry mortal men, with sources noted, 
edited by D. L. Ash Lyman, at University of Pittsburgh, Terry Windling, Married to Magic, Animal Brides and Bridegrooms in Folklore and Fantasy, Sir Walter Scott, Minstrelsy of the Scottish Border, Jean Doris, Maluzine, archive.org, Mar Copyright Luzine. Encyclopedia Britannica 1911